Hi everyone, I hope you're having a really good week. I hope you're having a good time off school so far. Now I've been asked to record the second craft. Okay, so the first one was our palm leaves, which you would have done on Sunday. I hope you really enjoyed it. Noah and Sophia really enjoyed making those and they had good fun waving them away after. Now today's craft is the little cross, the stained glass cross. Now, I have already cut out, in your pack you will have a template. I've already cut it out, ready to go. You'll have to maybe get a grown up to help you cut out the middle part. So I've also got a pencil and I've got my scissors and I've got all my lovely colored tissue paper ready to go. And I've got my sticky back plastic. Okay, now I've drawn round my template already um, to my sugar paper and I'm now gonna cut that out. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed, boys and girls, that in church we have some stained glass windows. Okay, right up at the back of the church. Maybe the next time you're in, you can have a wee look out for them. And maybe if it's a really nice sunny day, you'll see the sun shining through and you'll see all the lovely colours. Now, today's craft is obviously about the cross and it's the next part of our story. And I'm, I'm happy to say that it's not the last part of the story. So obviously we have to remember that Jesus died on the cross for us and that he took all the punishment for all our, the wrong things we have done, what we call our sin. Okay, so it's quite sad to remember that he had to go and he had to be in lots of pain and he had to, had to suffer for, for us. But it's lovely to know that he did it because if he didn't, boys and girls, we wouldn't be able to be part of God's family. So even though this is a sad sad time to remember it's also a day of hope as well and I quite like the, the fact that this little cross has lots of colours on it because it reminds us that even though this sad time had to happen that there, it wasn't the end of the story so I'm just going to finish cutting out my little cross here now you can maybe just kind of fold it in half to cut out the middle part. Might make it a little bit, oh, it's jumping out of my hand there. Make it a little bit simpler. I'm just gonna cut around this a little bit. And cut around here. Mm. Obviously boys and girls, as we're doing these crafts, we really hope that maybe it'll give you a wee bit of time to kind of think about the real meaning of Easter. Because it's very easy just to think about all the, the kind of not as important things, such as Easter eggs. We all love a good Easter egg. I love chocolate too. But it's important, boys and girls, that maybe as we do these little crafts, that you could think about why, why we celebrate Easter and why Easter is so important for us. Now I've nearly finished. There we go. So we've now got our sugar paper in our cross and what I'm going to do boys and girls is I'm going to peel this here sticky back plastic. Oh if I can get it. It's quite hard to get the edge. Again you might need a wee grown up, a grown up to help you with this wee bit. And I'm going to peel it the whole way sort of halfway down here. Okay, sort of halfway back and I'm going to place my little template onto the sticky back plastic. Just try and kind of get it roughly in the centre. Okay, I'm going to get that to stick down. Oh, mine's not going to play ball here. There we go, just roughly get it to stick down in the shape of your cross. Okay. So I've got it onto my sticky back plastic. And now what I'm gonna do, you can decide whether you want to cut your paper with your scissors. I'm just gonna tear mine because it's quicker. And I'm just gonna sort of stick it down little bits at a time onto it. Okay, and you can just, you can be really as, take as much time or as little time as you want on this. Just little bits here and there. There we go. I'm going to get some other colours. I'm going to go for a bit of red. Okay. There we 
go. Doesn't have to be neat, as I say. You can just be as quickly as you want to do it. Sorry, a bit of yellow. No. It's going to take me probably a little bit of time here, so I'm just going to show you. I've started to kind of stick lots of bits onto my cross. Oh, I can't really see that. Onto my cross. I'm going to continue doing that, okay? And whenever I'm finished then, I will peel the rest of the plastic on the other side and I'll stick it up over to seal the cross off. Okay, boys and girls, so you'll end up with a lovely stained glass cross and you can put it up in your your windows boys and girls to remind everybody of the easter story and remind everybody of why we we celebrate easter the true meaning behind easter i hope you have a lovely time off school and i hope you enjoy eating all your easter eggs and i hope you really enjoy making all these crafts and remembering the true meaning of easter see you all soon bye